with another video. It's your girl <laughs> Ashley, and this is my friend Victoria. Victoria. Alright, so tell everybody, like, tell everybody about yourself. Like, tell them about your Instagram, tell them about what you do, who you are, your age, your social security. I can't <laughs> Okay, y'all. So, I'm Victoria. Um, I'm the creator of Proverbs Captain, mm -hmm. if y'all haven't heard. Um, and I'm in the Air Force, a lot of people don't know, but yeah. Um, I'm 22. I don't really care about sharing my age, just whatever. But so what? What are you? What are your goals for being in the Air Force? Like, what is the next step? Like, what? What do you want to accomplish? So last week, I had a lot of time to think about yeah. that. Um, honestly, I'm joining because of discipline, but um, I do want to go into politics. Mm -hmm. So as far as like law, I feel like being in the military does help with that. Okay. So that's my. So are you okay. gonna eventually go to law school? Yeah, I will. Wow. So I'm still trying to figure that out. And so today we are going to be doing um, a conversation. So I've done a lot of things on this show. I've done a vlog. I've done Be Ready With Me. I did a skincare. I did cooking. Like we do it all here. The room tour. The room tour. <laughs> See? I haven't done a conversation yet. So, I don't know if you know, but on my Instagram, I have IGTVs of me and my boyfriend, and it's called ABCs, mm -hmm. Ashley and B Conversations, mm -hmm. and we. That's where the conversation started. Like we talked about a lot of controversial stuff, and um, and so this conversation is basically like a continuation, a continuation of that friendships, relationships, mm -hmm. and I'm so excited. Like when she sent me her questions, I was like, this is so juicy. It's gonna get <laughs> there's so much depth and volume in it. I'm so excited. So I gave her a list of questions. Uh, and she gave me a list of questions. So, all right, so the first question is, what is your definition of friendship? Um, yeah, I had to think about that um, even when you sent me the questions. To say friendship is just honestly being there for that person. Yeah. A group thick and thin. Right. Like, um, not of course like stupid stuff, but like, you know, actually like just being there for them, praying for them, mm -hmm. like giving them advice. Um, just being their support system because, like, even if you're not there, some some people don't like to talk. I'm not a of talker, course, you know. Of course. But um, at least me knowing that you're there for me, and I could just like you know count on you if I need you. So I guess that. So that's your definition. So how long is your longest friendship? <laughs> Considering like the definition you just gave, like mm -hmm. I'm not talking about like somebody who's known for a long oh, time. Oh yeah, I don't even consider <clears throat> yeah. that. Um, no, um, so I didn't really get like co oh, friends until I got to college, like real friends until mm. so I got to college. So I would say four years. Four years, that's yeah. your longest friendship yeah. span. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you set healthy boundaries between friends? That's something I'm working on. Yeah. I'm working on a lot as far as of friendships. Course. Um, because at first I wasn't um, giving boundaries, so it would just be more like a take, take, take. Yeah. And then, of course, there would be other people who, call, not call me out on it, but like, you need to like, mm -hmm. not okay. allow yourself to be so available to the right. person. So, um, I just say no. Like, now, just no. Okay. And I watch a lot of videos on just like, how to improve on yourself. Right. And it's like, you don't need to give them a reason why. It's just a no. Like, so then, okay, so that's something I really, sh I struggle with, mm -hmm. is, I can tell you no, but best believe it's gonna come with like the long explanation of yeah. what I had to do, this, yeah. that, why it won't work. Mm -hmm. So you're saying like you don't even need to give. It's just sometimes I will. Okay, so but sometimes. sometimes I don't have a reason as to why I don't want to do that thing. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to. Yeah, so if they're like, I'm why? Saying, I'm complicated. So if you're my friend, you're they'll know. Okay, like, they'll get mad. True. They'll get irritated, but, but they'll understand. Hopefully, that's so. a good friend though, and yeah. that's what we're talking about. Like, yeah, friends that understand you know you mm. call, yeah how do you set healthy boundaries between family or significant others like or people that you are dating or okay so as far as family i'm gonna answer the question like separately, separately yeah um so family they know me like I, like i said my friends know i'm a little complicated my, my family knows me yeah so, um and i i they don't bother me too much. Okay. That's one thing. Like, I don't have, like, parents that are just on my back right. all the time. Right. Um, my siblings, it's a little bit different. I'll mm -hmm. do everything I can for them. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, if I don't feel like it, sometimes it's not on, like, anything petty. But you don't I just feel, feel, like, pressure to do it. Yeah. Okay. Like, but they're like that, too. Like, if they don't feel like doing it, they're going to tell, gonna you, tell you. They're going to tell you. So, right. we have that relationship. So, my family, not really worried about that. 
Um, significant other, I think it depends. Um, of course, you're gonna want to do everything you can because that's when like love and all of that comes into yeah, play. So you're okay. Yeah, yeah. So you can tell yourself, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. But that's how like people stay in like abusive relationships. Right. God forbid, but like you know, like that's how they stay and stuff right. like that because right, it's like right. now emotions have kind of taken over. Okay, yeah. But I would hope, at least for me, like if I'm if I'm in a relationship, if I don't want to do something, it should be like you should be able to respect it. Right. Vice versa. Right. So, um, what is your love language? Do you know? Um, uh -huh. I guess you could say acts of service. Acts of service. That's yeah. Right. yeah. I think that. like doing, yeah, giving. Like you were saying, yeah. sometimes you give, give, give so Maybe much. Like, you know, simple. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Literally, I'm and okay I think. With that that ties back into setting that boundaries especially mm -hmm. with significant others mm -hmm. like one point, like because acts of service we're so giving we're so doing we want to help you clean we want to help you do your laundry we want to help you set this thing up you know yeah. like whatever it is mm -hmm. and then it's like where's that point where that person starts to take advantage of that and sure. that's the boundaries i'm saying yeah. like I will do this for you because I want to do it for you. Yeah, definitely. Don't Expect. get, yeah, <laughs> and also still be grateful for yeah. it, you know. Same type of boundaries that you set with your friends, mm. obviously they're going to be different, but how or why? Mm. Well, I mean, a friend is a friend. Mm -hmm. A romantic partner is a romantic partner. If, if a friend pisses them off, they're like, oh, I'll cut you off like that, you know? Mm -hmm. But when a guy does it, it's like, okay, they take them back, they take them back. You keep and I try to, them back. Yeah, I try to, people are going to piss you off regardless. Regardless, so, so why so, allow this person to do it? Yeah, because they're still both human beings. Right. So I try to keep it mutual. Yeah. It's hard. It's but very hard. I try to keep it mutual. That's so that's true. All right, so that's all my questions for her. Mm -hmm. That's what, that was good. I think I did it. Okay, my turn. Um, okay, do you mind being alone sometimes? For example, would you go to the movies by yourself or do you always try to invite a friend? As much as I am an extrovert, I'm an introvert. I enjoy my me time. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with being for myself. Mm -hmm. When I was single, like, and even in a relationship, mm -hmm. I would go to the movies all the time. I would take myself to eat all the time. I, and I would love to say, oh, it's just me. Like yeah. when I go to a restaurant, no, it's just me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I enjoy being alone. I love mm -hmm. being alone. Um, and that also translates into my relationship. And mm -hmm. so at first it was hard because you, because of the acts of service as, as we are, it's so loving. You want to do and give and be and whatever you need, what, let me go get it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So in the beginning of the relationship, I did feel like I was compromising that alone time mm -hmm. just to spend time with him just so he can see how much I loved him, if yeah. that made sense. And I felt bad for having or wanting or craving that alone time in a relationship. Yeah. So, but I am an advocate for girls going on dates by themselves, mm. go out to eat on your own, go out on, not even go out to eat and go to the movies, because those are so like, that's still safe. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm all about solo tripping, like go on a trip by yourself, go okay. to a festival <laughs> by yourself. Obviously be safe, yeah. be mindful, be cautious. Um, but there is such beauty in like doing things on your own yeah. and like falling in love with yourself and with your thoughts and how you think and how you see things like i just oh i can yeah. talk about it forever i love it yeah <laughs> me uh -huh. at least um i like being around people yeah. um but i like my alone time it again complicated yeah so, for example, I like driving. Driving is my me time. Like, that's okay. why I'm really playing music in the car. I'm more of like, I just think. Okay. Um, and I need my alone time. Okay. I'm one of those people, I actually like my space. Right. But I do like to socialize. So okay. every time I go out, I'm going to be like, oh, uh, would Ooh, you like to meet yeah. me? Um, of course, okay. I don't just ask anyone. But like, I have certain people for different times. Like, right. You know? So I do, I don't know, I just like to talk to people. Like, let's go out for a drink. So have you done anything? Social by yourself. Yeah, I went out to eat last Monday by myself. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I'll do that. <clears throat> and like, I'll write. Like, you know, that's something right, that I'll right. do. Oh, yes, 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 yes. But, I don't know. I would love to do a solo trip, too. Oh, I'm planning one. I don't know if my mom would love me. But what do you think about opposite, opposite sex friendships? And do you think that's possible? It goes back to boundaries. Yeah. You can't. You can mm -hmm. have completely have a platonic relationship. Mm -hmm. A genuine, where like, it's real, you yeah. know? 
Um, but you have to have a boundary. And my my rule is you have to know both people, whether they're in relationships or not, whether you're in a relationship or not, mm -hmm. both people need to know that there will never be anything between the two of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there is no possible way <laughs> one person is liking you, you don't like them, yeah. and you're trying to be platonic. No, yeah. because their intentions are yeah. one day that you'll change those, yeah. you know, you'll change around, you'll come mm -hmm. around, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Or same, you know what I mean? Yeah. So and even if it's somebody that you like an ex, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because it's like, can you be friends with your ex? Mm -hmm. Y'all have to make sure that there is nothing yeah. sexual, nothing. Yeah. Like, even, in, it's not even only sexual, like, spiritual as well. Yeah. Nothing mentally, like, connecting you guys, emotionally yeah. connecting you guys. But it's like, what is a friendship? Like, what is that relationship? Is it calling them every day? Texting mm -hmm. them all the time? Like, mm -hmm. I don't think you need to be doing that if you're in a yeah. relationship. Yeah. If you're not in a relationship, that's fine. And you want to have a boy best friend, and y'all call each other all the time, talk to each other all the time, knowing damn well that nothing's going to come from that. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But I don't think... As somebody me in a relationship, mm -hmm. I need to be texting a guy all the time. Even if I have no like intention to be with them, yeah. do anything with them, mm -hmm. um, I don't need to be texting because women, you know, we still develop things, yeah. you know. We're talking to somebody all the time, calling them all the time, yeah. feelings don't come. Yeah. Somehow, even if the person is butt ugly, you know, because <laughs> that's yeah. how girls are. I think you can, but you gotta make sure there is nothing, yeah. nothing, like nothing. You don't even <laughs> wanna know what is gonna, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think so, but I'm also, I don't like the problems, man. Like, yeah, the drama. Yeah, if he has a girlfriend, I'm gonna probably keep my distance exactly. naturally. Um, I feel like feelings are still gonna come regardless at yeah. one point, but. Uh -huh. That's where I think you guys need to be open with each other. Conversate, yeah. communicate. Be if you're there, right? If you're there liking that person and it's like the feelings keep developing and you're like, oh, just friend, friend, no. If you're not being truthful with yourself, you're, 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 you're gonna get hurt. hurt. Yeah. You're so. gonna, you're gonna, somebody gonna slap you. Like, <laughs> is there a maximum number of friends one person can have? And how many friends do you think you could have before it becomes too difficult to uh, keep in touch with them? I feel like, why do you need so many friends? Yeah. Like, acquaintances is fine. Knowing yeah. people is fine. But like you define friendship, mm -hmm. you there's no possible way you can have, like, 30 of them. Like, right? how, <laughs> how does that work? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And there's always going to be that one person that's closer to you than all of them yeah. or understands you better than all yeah. of them. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to put a number on I want to be like, you need to have five yeah. friends. I like to think of friends as family, yeah. literally like family. Yeah. Like, um, so I try, like right now, I'm probably say I have like three or four or five good friends where like if something traumatic happened, I can call them and they'll stop whatever they're doing and run. You know what I mean? And that doesn't include my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing. Like I understand like your significant other is your best friend, mm -hmm. but like I said, if anything were to happen between y'all, if y'all not married, if he hasn't put a ring on anything like at the end of the day you cannot rely on that relationship solely on um well for me i have a lot of acquaintances yes um friendship i'm very picky on that um so i don't i don't just have a lot of friends yeah and i remember freshman year just because i do talk to a lot of um people um this one of my friends she was like oh i just don't like the fact that you have a lot of friends like she actually confronted me about wow. that. And I was like, what? First of all, like I don't have a lot of friends. Right. I know that about myself. Yeah. Like, um, and then you know how I said I didn't get my my true friendships into college? So this is freshman year. So I was just like, what are you Literally, talking yeah. about? Yeah. But um, I, I definitely think you should keep your circle small. small. Just for your own sanity. For your sanity. Like, you know, I think that's for your very important. Yeah, so, 100%. Do you have any friends who are much older or younger than you? And is age important when it so I think age is very important okay. and I don't have any friends that are older than me in Houston but when I was in Australia and we're talking about like late 20s early 30s some in their mid 30s and I'm I'm in my late 20s now I'm 26 mm -hmm. but at the time I was like 23 24 mm -hmm. so being around that and they were having kids they had their homes they had like businesses mm -hmm. like 
being around that was such motivation, yeah. constant inspiration, like, and I'm such a family homebody. So mm -hmm. it really, I honestly think it helped me like catalyze into the person I am now, like being so invested in my space. And mm -hmm. I realized that it does play a huge part in my mind um, mm -hmm. and how I think about life. I love, and then when I was in Australia, I went to this church and um, I got into a really close relationship with this older couple, like elderly couple. They were like old, <laughs> maybe like in their 60s, 70s. Mm -hmm. And oh, they had this beautiful home. They were retired. Like they would have like, you know, those like come overs with like wine and cheese yeah. and crackers, like yeah. casually. And I just, I idolized them. I was mm -hmm. like, they were in love, you know, their the kids were older, like they, they were just, it was just them, you know? Mm -hmm. And because they were Christians, they were so giving, and I just drew so much wisdom from them. Like every mm -hmm. time I got, and it was a genuine relation. Like I would call her, she would call me. Like it was such a good friendship that I had with them. And I think age matters. Um, a lot of credibility goes into what advice I'm taking from you if I know your experience and your age. Great I think age matters. Okay. <clears throat> So yeah, I agree as well. Yeah. Um, I like hearing around with older people too yeah. because the experiences. Of course. I like hearing what they have to say. Of course. Um, so I'm more, uh, I, I don't know, I just like being around older people. But I do have friends in all age groups. Yeah. Um, 19, 20, mm -hmm, 21. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'm open. Honestly, I just feel like if you're a good person and you're willing to grow because honestly, okay, like let's say I'm 22, like I said. So if I'm friends with a 19 year old, yeah, we may not be able to relate, but when we're all like, you know, 30, 30 yeah, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. matter. So um, I don't want to hope, like put too much weight on that. Yeah. But it's all about your maturity as well, okay. your mindset, how you think, what your values, beliefs, all yeah. of that. So. Okay. So what are the most common reasons for friendships with them? Same with any relationship, no communication. Mm -hmm. And I think it goes back to what you were saying before about boundaries. Mm -hmm. So you would, what you tolerate from your significant, significant other, mm -hmm. you don't tolerate with your friend. Mm -hmm. So you're quick to cut a friend off for something that you're letting your boyfriend or your girlfriend do multiple times. Uh, multiple times. Mm -hmm. And I think that's um, what, why a lot of friendships fail. Um, and I think pride. I feel like a lot of girls don't value a true friendship, like mm -hmm. a true friendship outside of your relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why they don't work as hard to maintain it or keep it. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. Pride, pride. Pride, pride, man. Especially speak, as Nigerian. Yeah, you don't speak because of your pride. Right, um, right. And honestly, it's just being understanding as well because like you have to, even though someone did something, they may not have seen like the wrong in what they did. Right. It's not like they did that intention. Right. So, like, yeah. So like, if someone does something to you, you need to be willing to like just say it. Up. Right. I have a problem with that. I don't really do that. I, I just like whatever. Like you know, because Let I feel like we're grown. Um, but see, that's the issue: is yeah. that you assume yeah. that your your maturity is going to be their level too, yeah. and so you assume like. How did you not see that that yeah. happened? Or how did or you not see that? Like, or vibes. Yes. Like but thank you so, so, so much for reaching out to me. Too. Like, thank honestly, you. this is my first time. So, first person. So, I'm excited. Like, I'm so I don't excited. seem like it, but I'm excited. I'm excited <laughs> that you chose to do it with me. Like, I'm, I'm shook. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. Do it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, comment share. Repost. Yeah, all of that. Repost. We repost all of it. Hit that <laughs> notification bell. <laughs> Whatever they say. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.